Climate change is affecting more than 600 million children in the East Asia and Pacific region every single year. Water sanitation and hygiene, or WASH, is one of the areas most seriously affected. Climate change threats to WASH include water quality and scarcity, increased disease outbreaks, salinity, and instability of water and sanitation infrastructure. For UNICEF in East Asia and the Pacific, the fundamental question is, are countries prepared to make WASH programming climate resilient? Using the global framework of climate resilience programming, developed by UNICEF in 2017, 12 countries have been assessed for their readiness to address WASH-related climate impacts. The framework has four components. Understanding the problem. Identifying and appraising solutions delivering solutions, and monitoring and moving forward. Most countries in the region scored average, meaning additional work needs to be done. The assessment noted that many countries have started developing adaptation and mitigation actions for WASH programs. In this context, UNICEF and partners aim to build better WASH climate resilience programs. The vision for building better climate resilient WASH programs is for all UNICEF supported WASH interventions to be climate resilient and sustainable, with communities that are able to cope with climate stress and vulnerabilities. Building WASH climate resilient services fulfills three main principles. Sustained services over the life of the system. Adapted services to the changing context of climate impact and reduced greenhouse gas emissions in systems that take into account climate-resilient WASH designs and standards. To support country efforts towards this vision, UNICEF and partners in the region have developed the four-star approach, which reflects interventions that progressively increase climate resilience. To achieve that, the four-star approach supports countries to progressively move to building better climate-resilient WASH. The steps of the four-star approach are as follows. Star 1 starts with sustainable, climate-resilient WASH services that target seven key aspects. Social, human, technical, economic, financial, institutional, and environmental. Most UNICEF programs are at the one-star level. Star 2 adds a climate assessment and requires evidence of mitigation and adaptation to climate impacts as well as a reduction in greenhouse gases. Star 3 is awarded when the whole community has climate-resilient WASH systems, requiring at least one mitigation and adaptation measure. There can also be community tools and approaches. Star 4 requires multiple communities, districts and townships to have climate-resilient WASH services that can anticipate unknown events with appropriate tools, capacity and resources to address them. The ideal outcome of the four-star approach is that communities are declared as climate-resilient WASH communities. This means all WASH services are climate-resilient and there is a clear methodology to measure adaptive changes, and strategy and resources are provided for future unknown climate impacts on WASH services. Addressing climate-resilient WASH involves great partnership. Country-level principles include assessing national WASH-related climate priorities, mapping climate-related stakeholders, and adapting the four-star approach to local context. At the regional level, it's important to support innovation and youth engagement and knowledge exchange on building better, climate-resilient WASH. Climate-resilient WASH programming requires better data and a new way of thinking. Working with institutions in this area and building strong partnerships will position UNICEF at the fore of the next decade of climate-resilient WASH for the East Asia and Pacific region. This video is realized with support of many partners.